Good morning, Diesel. Lord of all weasels. Good morning, Lloyd Minster, Alberta. Good morning, Old Blue. Good morning, random piece of tiny freight that I'm taking with me. It's just one piece. I'm picking up more. Good morning, Triaxle. You served me well pulling that heavy load out here. The load going back is going to be a little lighter. You can see right there, it's already off to a light start. Got a load of, of reels that are going on the back of this trailer yet behind this, about 40 feet of them. I gotta pick it up tomorrow morning in Weyburn, Saskatchewan. It's only about seven hours from here, so I got some time. Like I told you in the last couple of days, <laughs> forgot Diesel's leash and collar at home. Or actually, it's in my pickup truck at the shop. <laughs> but I had his harness in here for our walks, and I had a rope. He doesn't really need it, but you know, this is just for my peace of mind. And when we're walking around big moving vehicles and in town and stuff, well, in a lot of places it's law, I have to have them on some kind of leash. And other times it's just, I wanna make sure that uh, he's safe. It's for his safety. I don't want him, you know, darting out behind a truck or something. All right, so before we get going, I want to fuel up here in Lloydminster on the Alberta side because they got cheaper fuel. So uh, they are up here, just around the corner from where I am. So I can take that road that way and then go up from there. Five minute drive. Go and fuel up the tanks here where we get some cheaper juice. And we'll head out. All aboard! Diesel, you ate all your breakfast? Such a good boy. He's been eating so well on this trip. It's good. Just double check. Yep, that trailer's coming with me. Oh, okay. That guy is going first. I'll allow it. Only this time. Anyone else coming? I'm actually gonna take a little bit of a shortcut here. Watch me, look at all these bugs in my window. Eh? That's just from uh, about an hour period yesterday. Just before the sun was about to go down, before we got to Lloydminster, this window was all clean. But as soon as the sun goes down, all the bugs come out, right? And these aren't bugs like you're used to down south. These are literal clouds of bugs. You can see them flying across the highway. And it's just chaos. That's the prairies. And it gets worse the further north you go. Like up in the Northern Territories and like Northern, the Northern part of the provinces out here out west. Way worse. I don't know how people live up there with all those bugs. Being the CEO of a bug spray company would be very profitable. I think there's another car coming. I can see him in my, my mirror there. Does he have a signal on? Oh, he has a signal on. Okay. Thank you for using your signal so I know what you want to do. Can you please teach at least five people to do the same? If we all teach five people to use their signals, eventually the world will be a better place. Here comes the mighty, mighty Lloyd Minster Flying J off on our left. It's not a travel center, it's just a card lock. So there's no showers, but you can get points for fueling here. And still use your points card. It's right here, see? There's the sign. A little bit of a tight corner. See? Mighty, mighty flying J. You don't see these card locks in the States ever, do you? Down there, they always have the full-fledged truck stop, paved parking, showers, restaurant. This is how all of them used to be here. Achoo! Achoo! 
Excusing me. Woo. So at these card locks, they don't sell DEF. Okay, last one, I think. So you can't get DEF here, but you can get diesel fuel. Looks like that one's in better shape over there. Ah, should be okay. We should be okay. All right, let's fuel up and let's hit the road. Yikes, how close are you gonna get to that guy, bud? Wow. Almost made it. We're here in Saskatoon. Uh, for those of you not familiar with the area, this is where the 16 sort of turns onto uh, this street here. They haven't quite created a proper bypass around Saskatoon. Saskatchewan's working on it though. They got a pretty good bypass going around Regina. Though I think that they, in my opinion, they built it around the wrong side of the city. They built it uh, so that the bypass connects uh, the, the 11 with the Trans Canada West on the west side of town, right? But people coming down the 11 aren't going to use that because if you're coming down the 11 and you're going west on the Trans Canada, you're probably going to take the highway from Chamberlain down to Moose Jaw. I'm talking to people who are familiar with the map now and familiar with what I'm talking about. That's how you go west from the 11, right? No one's going to use that bypass. However, going from the 11 to east to go to Winnipeg, if they would have built the bypass around there to meet up in Balgoni at the Flying J there, that would have been a much better highway, much more used road. But they do have the bypass that goes around the south end of the city for east to west traffic that wants to bypass Regina. Though if they would have gone around the north side of the city, I just think that that would have made more sense, but there's probably issues with that, like uh, getting land and stuff. Who knows? I'm just a trucker. What do I know? Highways cost a lot of money to build, and Saskatchewan doesn't have that big of a population. It's spread out over a huge area. about touching the back of this RAV4 with his bumper. I don't know what his rush is. Must be late for something. I just don't see that any excuse for like road rage or aggressive driving, especially in traffic. It really bugs me when people tailgate the, pip, the person in front of them when there's endless traffic in front of that person. Like what are they gonna do? tailgating them what does that do to help the person at the very front of the traffic jam go faster right it doesn't do anything tailgaters are uh, or tailgating is among my highest of high pet peeves Especially in traffic, especially in traffic. Like if people are right behind me, well, what am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to go? What do you want me to do? Why are you tailgating me? Like, honestly, what do you want me to do? There's people in front of me.
Usually people tailgate me, it makes me go slower. Saskatoon Diesel, you remember this place? You remember the dog park here? They have a really nice dog park. Don't judge the city by this one terrible stretch of road. It's actually a really nice city. It's just, this stretch of road is just, and, and it was under construction for the longest time, right? We thought they were fixing it. No, <laughs> they just put the cones up for a while and now they took the cones away. It's, it's not fixed. <laughs> they didn't even touch it. I don't know what they were doing. They didn't even paint the lines. I don't know where the lane is. Sort of got a guesstimate whereabouts the lane is. Oh, here's some of the lines. A little bit faded. Ah, oh, Saskatoon, we love you. We love you. Don't understand you, but we love you. So we made it to uh, the co-op car block here in Weyburn, Saskatchewan, and all of that back there used to be truck parking. Now it's a home center. But we can still park up here. We lost all the parking back there. We probably lost about what, 80 parking spots, 60, 80 parking. That must have come up fast too, because I was here only, what, a year ago? And that building wasn't there. Wasn't even any plans that I could see for it. It was just a nice gravel parking lot. I'm just saying, you know, if you come to Weyburn, you gotta get here early if you want a spot. We made it here. This is the next morning. I'm just finishing this up. Where Diesel? Taking him for a walk with his little makeshift leash. It's a good day. Nothing really happened. Just rolled across the prairies. I'm kind of sad about <laughs> losing all that parking. This is always my go-to parking spot. They've got a great restaurant in here, a lounge, a convenience store. It's always a great place to park, and it still is. It's just, uh, well, in all honesty, I'm sure that that home center makes a whole lot more money for them than free parking back there. <laughs> Their options were probably like, huh, we could get the truckers to pay to park, which will never happen in a million years, or we could build something there that will actually make us some revenue. I probably would have done the same thing. So we have next week's mission statement in our computer here already. And the load gods have called me. I know, personally, right? I'm honored. Got a phone call. Next week we're doing the same thing. We've got one of them heavy, heavy loads going to Atchison. It's uh, going to be probably another 60,000 pounds or so. Some people were asking what the gross weight is on that. So there's 60,000 pounds on the trailer, <coughs> give or take. Uh, that puts me just under 95,000 pounds gross. With a tri-axle, uh, that works here in Canada. As long as your weights are properly distributed. So I'm allowed in kilograms, I'm allowed to haul up to 46,500 kilograms. And I believe we were at about 43.5, 44? I was, I was a little bit under yet. I could have, we could have thrown a couple of more bundles on there, but we'll be a little nice to old bloke. 
right? And they didn't have, that was the whole load. It's not like they get to throw something more in it. We'll see what they have for us next week. It's a long weekend here in Canada. I hope you guys are uh, doing long weekend stuff. I don't know, fishing, other things. We got a barbecue tomorrow, we're gonna to barbecue. I, I had made myself available to leave on Monday. So I'm like, I wanna get going on Monday, let's get trucking. And uh, they're like, well, Monday's a holiday. No one's open, we can't load, you're gonna have to wait till Tuesday. Oh yeah, it's a long weekend, shucks. So that's okay, I get to spend more time at home. A nice little surprise. We'll be leaving on Tuesday. We'll see what happens, we'll see what happens. Probably another rounder just like this. I mean, this worked out good. I left on Tuesday on this trip. I'm gonna go load this freight, I'll be back on Friday. That'll be in tomorrow's vlog. That worked out pretty good. Yeah, I like those rounders. Any hoodles. I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you watch tomorrow. Tomorrow will be tomorrow, and it's gonna be a good one. I'll see you then. Don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell beside the subscribe button, because I don't release my vlogs at specific times. It's, it's just very difficult for me to do that. So in order for you to know when I release my videos, you gotta ring the bell so that it'll send you a notification. You know, hey, watch Trucker Josh, stop what you're doing now. I don't care if you're a cop and you're in the middle of writing a ticket. Put the paper down, put the pen down, Watch Trucker Josh, okay? That's what that ding means. Yeah, the, the person in the car in front of you can wait. They can sweat. <laughs> they won't know what you're doing. <laughs> oh, that would be funny. No, no one's gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. I don't care. Whatever you're doing, hope you're in a safe place. Uh, and we'll tune in tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Hey, Diesel, hey. Say something. Say something. I'm a yoy. He's my window. <laughs>